At West Tennessee Bank, we provide all the financial tools you'll ever need to manage your money more effectively, helping you stretch each dollar, making it go farther, adding value to every purchase. West Tennessee Bank, a division of Decatur County Bank. We think you'll like us. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. First item on the list of point, uh, member of the board and service vice mayor for the next two years. It's a pleasure to the board. Mayor, uh, I'd like to make a motion that uh, Alderman Ferris be appointed vice mayor for the next two years. I have a motion to appoint on the fair. Do I have a second? Second. second. <laughs> <laughs> you got your choice here, Jim. I think we're all in favor. Just do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This time, if there's any other discussion, seeing none, all those favors, say goodbye. Bye. Aye. All above, say goodbye. Thank you. I'll do my best. Next item on the agenda are the minutes. Is there any corrections or amendments to the minutes?
I realized this is clearing trees. Yeah. So you're not going to be out there pushing trees around in February either. No. So it's going to be over in the spring to summer. So this may fall sort of in both places. Before you spend the money. Before we actually spend money. Right. So. But it's something that needs to be done. Why is it so? Yep. Smart to do. I can get a $200,000 worth of work done for $20,000. in the 
six twelve. So the difference, which is a little less than two hundred dollars per month, goes into their health savings account for them. Is this like a, almost a catastrophe plan? It, it is almost yes. Yeah. yeah, it's a very high deductible. Yeah. It's a seventy thirty plan. Even after that, you got to meet the deductible yeah. before they pay anything. Yeah. So you know, for it's a little scary for the boy first getting into it. Right. Because there, there's that potential for them to be out a lot of money if they do have something happen. And particularly if they know they've got a, something coming up. Yeah, it can, be, yeah. It can be very expensive. Right. Right. So I think that's the reason employees have been reluctant to try that. Uh, if you had a boy that was very healthy, it might be feasible to do it. Especially if they're trying to cover family members, it becomes less and less feasible because no money for the city goes to the health savings account. Yeah. Or if they can all please contribute their own money to right. that health savings account if they want to. So far, We've had as many as three people on it. Yeah. Uh, no one has ever put a dollar of their own money into it. The only money they've ever put into it has been the city money. Okay. Well, at least there's options. I just wanted to ask. Yeah. The employee can choose any one of these options, and they can change from year to year. So it's totally up to them. Of course, with the health savings account, like any other health savings account, the money stays with them. Right. They leave employment. If they don't spend it, the money's right. theirs to use for medical expenses. And I think after a certain age, you need to get that to keep your taxes. Yeah. Certain age, you may be able to get free for all that point. So, certain age, you can't get in. Yeah, it was. So, there's the options there, but we call the higher deductible, higher co pay. Yeah, it's a little right. scary to get in. I was looking at that the other night. Yeah. Sorry to keep us going. Okay. Next item on the agenda is I need to discuss and consider approval of selling the price of 3.6 acres of tract land in Magic Valley to the Park Inn. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
uh, may consider taking proposal on the new utility automatic uh, meter reading system. Proposing doing this just like we would hire engineering services. There's a limited number of companies that make this type of equipment. And we'll do uh, like a request for proposals. We will evaluate the proposals. And after the evaluation process, uh, we would get a firm uh, price from the prospective vendors. And then after that, we would come back for you to approve that.
be digging up their entire parking lot, all the way across their parking lot, the grassy area, probably where the trees are, everything, replacing that entire coast. We have warned the contractor already. We will reiterate that again to make sure they don't put any equipment into those driveways because we said you would probably not come out because you'll probably. And we told Tony that with Shackford, and he was getting with their bosses and trying to come up with a plan, but so far they haven't gotten back to us. So that's sort of where that is. But we're going to try to make sure we don't affect their current situation, and they're just far enough back off the paving line that if the work, their work that can be done after hours gets done. It shouldn't affect who wants the drainage. If they have your contractor, it shouldn't affect us. Mm -hmm. What about at the, uh, what used to be the baby world, Oliver's now? I mean, this, I know they had a problem. I'm not sure what Oliver's is, to be honest. Uh, that, all that piping gets a little strange to me as far as where it goes and how it goes and where it gets to different places. But, so, but this resurfacing, none of that should... No, all that should be outside the edge of our paint, scope of paint. Just paint. It's like on Shackford, you know, we're going to go over to basically their curve at the edge right. of Mercy Lane. All this is like six feet behind their curve is where it actually is. Of course, it does come across all the other direction. It would be nice if I could have got it done before. Oh, I sure would. Yeah. Are we required to put any kind of notices